Hi everyone, Gerdy here on my evening walk and if you guys are going to be really lucky I'm going to run into some cows because I can hear the bells I don't know about how lucky I'm going to be when that happens but we'll see Anyways My squiggly career aka sometimes you've got to break some rules now, as you may or may not know, I have not always lived in Austria because I'm Dutch and I was born in and raised and lived for a long time in the Netherlands and I wasn't always a coach and a guide. I actually started my career as a secretarial assistant slash, um, what do you call that, janitor. Now that was not what I had studied for, I studied to be a facility manager which was also not exactly what I wanted to do because what I wanted to do oh, was uh, be a pilot. Now I didn't pass the physical so that was out and I had to do something so I studied facility management. I had a career in facility management as well. As I said, started out as a um, secretarial assistant slash janitor very quickly became an assistant project, project leader and then continued to climb the ladder and uh, became a project leader then a, a project manager slash consultant and eventually for a short while a senior project manager and consultant and I uh, by then I was 17 years in and I had been doing something that I didn't really like or really didn't like or whatever phase you caught me um, for 17 years so I quit my job or I yeah I quit my job I quit that career freelanced for four years knowing already knowing that i wanted to go to austria but not quite knowing yet what i was going to do there other than work as a mountain hiking guide and also knowing that as a mountain hiking guide i wouldn't be making nowhere near the kind of money that i had been making and i did need to live for something so what i did after my career had nicely done that and even the uh, freelancing was sort of a logical continuation of that upward trajectory I decided to get my driving driver's licenses for a lorry slash truck and a bus which is not exactly the next logical step when you're quite high up the career ladder Now there were two reasons for that first of all I always dreamed ever since I was a little kid of being to, uh, able to drive those um, vehicles second of all I thought it would be a nice backup there's always going to be need, a need for licensed bus and truck drivers still true today I haven't used it but it's still true today the need for the truck drivers I mean the second reason was oh I always said that second reason was the backup so um, I did that I moved to Austria became a mountain hiking guide at some point started combining that with coaching and those are all rule breaking activities it's not expected in some circles not even accept it that you just drop out of the career rat race of the career ladder whatever you want to call it and um, just go do something that enables you to do what it is that you really want to do and I really wanted to live in the mountains 
and I really wanted to spend a lot of time in them as well which as you can imagine as a mountain hiking guide you do and uh, I accepted the fact that that would mean that I would drop off the, career, the traditional career ladder so in that sense I broke a lot of rules I drove a cab for a while I spent uh, many a winter as a ski instructor and uh, like as you know I now am a mountain hiking I am now a mountain hiking guide but most and first and foremost I'm a coach and I use my mountain hiking guiding experience to bring people into the mountains with me to bring my clients into the mountains with me but all this is just because I wanted to say sometimes when you really want to do something sometimes you have to break rules whether they're self-imposed whether they're explicit or implicit and whether they're yours or somebody else's that you live by sometimes when you want to live a meaningful life when you want when it doesn't feel quite right the life that you're living you may come to the conclusion that you have to break some rules to get to where it is that you want to go so I'm curious to find out what is one rule or maybe even what are a couple of rules that you will be breaking if you are when you are moving towards the life that you want to live that's it as always go there greatly bye bye